All right, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Tech Demon. And as usual, um, today we're not going to do um, anything Portainer related or anything Docker related, but um, this is a video I had wanted to do uh, for quite some time now. And so we just get into it today. So as um, the title of this video suggests, uh, this is like logging um, your public IP address using Python. And this uh, is very useful if you um, don't have a static IP address or a static external IP address or a public IP address. And you'd want to um, probably host um, stuff personally on maybe your home computer or you've got a home server, you might want to host stuff. But then you don't know um, how often your IP address really changes. Well, you can just use this to um, log how often your IP changes and then what changes to at what time it changes. I mean, this is something I needed um, uh, some time ago, but then um, haven't been able to uh, get the time to get it done. But today um, I'm just going to uh, go through it and then uh, let's just see how that goes. So first off, um, I've already created uh, my main.py here. So we're using actually Python to do this. So I've got main.py and I've created a folder called um, login. So that's just for uh, test purposes or for this tutorial. So first off, um, we're going to import a few modules. Uh, first, I'll start off with um, import and we'll import login um, there. So import login uh, and then we'll also import uh, request. Uh, great import requests uh, if you haven't got a request on your computer you can simply go um, to your terminal or to your yeah, I think you can go to the terminal uh, the terminal and then just type in uh, how do you call it? pip install and you can get um, requests so pip install requests and then uh, you're good to go so oh oh okay you ah great E here so pip install requests and then would also import um, shadow. All right. Then, so same thing for shadow. If you haven't got shadow, just pip install, and then you have that. And then the last one should be uh, import time. Great. So we have time there uh, to tell us uh, the time uh, of uh, the time when uh, stuff changes or when RRP changes. It logs actually the time as well. So first things first, uh, let's just take a look at how we're going to get our external IP. So that should be the first thing that we should do. But I'll just uh, want to go through everything once and for all. And so we're just going to start with um, defining a function. Uh, yeah, so let's just define this function here first. Uh, so we're going to call it um, get um, get IP, right? So this is to uh, get our external IP address. And then we're going to put uh, the login right up here. So we're going to have, um, oh, sorry. Great. So define a function. We go down here and then we're going to put the login. So login the basic config. Now for login, uh, I think I'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, read more uh, on, on login. So config.basics, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set a level uh, for uh, our login. Now login comes in like ver uh, various forms. I think there are about four, five, five login um, um, levels and so we're just going to use uh, one of them either way either of them should work but it just depends on what you need it for so in this tutorial, actually we're going to use <coughs> uh, level okay good uh, login dot info great so login dot info and remember that's like uh, that's a caps and then we're actually going to format as well. So, so as you can see, we have a uh, format on the screen in there, like the suggestions we're getting. So we're going to do format uh, equals, and then we're going to put this in here. And then in there, we're going to put uh, that. And then in, we write an ASCII time. Uh, that is to get uh, the time. And then we would also set uh, level name here. Uh, level name. 
and then we'll just uh, put a colon and that should give us something like less than eight great then we'll leave that and then the last thing we put is message so message in there and I'll put a comma back there then we'll still go down and then try to style this a bit so we add a style um, yes style equals and then we'll have this there and then close that in there oops so back we don't need a comma over here and then put in the file name so this would be uh, the file name uh, that will be logging um, our, our results to or our information to and so I'm just gonna call this um, how should we call this my log dot log right put a comma there and then the last thing will be the file uh, mode and we're going to set that to append uh, just like you do uh, anytime you want to write something to a file so you can either use uh, a W to for write or an A for append but since uh, we're going to need this for a long period of time it's better to just put append and so we can check um, the dates and the times uh, at which just to be sure at what date and then at what time that our IP address changed so that's actually what we're going to be needing append for and then since uh, we are done with this for uh, our function to get um, uh, the login uh, yes our function for uh, the login we're actually going to get our IP address now so the first one was uh, the function to for the login and then this time we're going to get uh, the public uh, IP address so right here okay we're still in the same tab function and then output um, let's uh, declare a variable here we're going to call this um, pub public so that is public uh, IP this way okay this way that, that works so we're going to set that to request so now we're calling uh, our request here so we're going to set that to request dot get um, put this in here and then where we're going to be getting our IP address from is actually um, a website like I think I'll have to copy and paste this just to be sure uh, great so that's what we'll be getting our IP address from now if I click on this link it's actually going to open in a browser and then all that is going to provide for me is just my uh, public IP address and that is it nothing much uh, apart from that so this is uh, a really simple way to like get your IP address instead of mostly we always do it like what is my public IP address go to Google search for that and then you have it but this is really simple all it provides is just your public IP address and nothing much nothing more all right so we'll put that and then we'll put a dot text uh, right here then go down and then go login uh, dot info uh, and then in here we'll just try to get our public IP address so in here I'm gonna put in the pub IP All right and there we go we have that there we'll go down and I think that is done for this <coughs> And all we have to do this time is just um, shuttle or get a time at which um, everything should log or the time at which uh, we want our program to run. So if we're running it for a month, we are running for um, uh, a year, we just have to like indicate uh, when it should run, how often should our little program run, how often should our code uh, execute. So first of this time, we're going to use the shuttle. So all we're going to do is just type shuttle uh, dot every I think yeah every how long 10 seconds of for tutorial purposes I'm gonna put 10 seconds so every 10 seconds uh, what should happen do get IP so every 10 seconds we want our get IP function to run so once uh, 10 seconds it's 10 seconds uh, I get um, uh, IP function is going to run and then it's going to log whatsoever is going to happen in there. <coughs> so 
So all of these uh, get your public IP address and then the, uh, um, the login also is uh, in the same thing. So it's gonna run everything uh, from get IP login basics gonna run everything down to your public IP and then log uh, the details to the file that we specified mylog.log, .log, uh, log the details into um, that file. All right, so to make sure our program is gonna run uh, when we set it to, I'm just gonna add a while here and uh, I'll say while one, uh, what should happen? Schedule um, dot run underscore pending. And then I'll just put a time to sleep. Uh, so time dot sleep, and then put that in there. Uh, how long should you sleep? Just sleep for one second maybe so depending on how long or how often you want your uh, code to write i think getting an uh, uh, an ip address shouldn't actually uh, change all the time it doesn't really change all the time if it's dynamic and it's your external ip address of course mostly changes but w it's tough to say when exactly it changes some people have it change like once uh, every week or maybe uh, it changes probably every day, depending on where you are, depending on where you live, and depending on uh, what um, internet service provider you have, you probably might have it change um, often or seldom. So that is what we have now. And so I'm going to just quickly uh, run this program. Uh, we didn't use this. I think I can just get rid of it. Okay. And hopefully that should run. So I'm going to run this. And okay, great. Show up our terminal. Okay, great. So I think that is running. And I'm just gonna leave it uh, to run for maybe two, three seconds. Oh, oh, 30, 40 seconds, and then see um, um, the result we get. So I think probably uh, 10 seconds might have elapsed already. Whoa, okay. So we have um, a little error over there. Let's just make sure everything is correct. Okay, great. There it is level name okay yeah so that was our error and now we can probably run this and see where that takes us oh pr let me also reduce the time to five seconds so i oh, probably okay let's just do it um three seconds so at least we can get some uh information uh, so or some more information uh quickly so let's just run that and that is actually going to log like um, the files every three seconds and we'll see how much uh, we've been able to log by far. So that is just about it. Simply this logs your public IP address into a file and then you can keep uh, check the file later on to see how often or when exactly uh, something changed or when exactly your IP address changed, which is really useful. And like I said earlier, uh, I had wanted to actually, uh, I needed this like before, uh, some time ago. Currently, I'm having, I have a, a private IP address. So yeah, that not really uh, uh, the time I needed it. But of course, this is like helpful. Um, and you can actually tweak it uh, to fit uh, your needs just um, to... Uh, very important to like uh, get to know some more information about login and then when to use it, how to use it, and what to have. So I think we've actually uh, elapsed enough time. I am going to interrupt this. So interact, and then I'm gonna do an ls. And as you can see, we have uh, my log dot log, and we can cut this file. So I'm gonna do cut my hit tab complete that. And as you can see, we have logged uh, enough. Yeah, we've actually logged enough. So these are like uh, our IP addresses and what comes with it is um, the date and then the time and then uh, what kind of um, login uh, level it is. It is, it is, yeah, it is. So that is uh, an info. Like I said earlier, there are different types of um, login um, uh, levels that you can, or level names that you can have. So uh, there's a link in the description if you actually wanna read more on login. And that is just it. This is our my log file, and we have um, the same thing in there. I think. No. Oh. Um, why not? Okay, great. But we still have. Uh, let's do an ls. Yeah, we still have the same thing in here. So actually, that's not not, not a big deal. Uh, I think we got. But let's just get rid of this. Uh, so I'm going to delete this. And then run this again. 
just let it do its thing. Probably we should have a, um, a few files. Oh, okay, so there it goes. Now, now we have it in there. And I am going to interrupt this. So like before we had uh, the same IP, so that was uh, this IP. And then if I open this, you see we still have um, the same thing. All right, so that is just about it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description and then for you to also get the code. If you want the code, I'll actually put a link in the description. You can go straight up and then copy it and then tweak it as you wish. All right, thanks for watching, peace out.